Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Sim World Pro Tour. And we are back here at Jezoriel Bestie. Now, I'm going to do my best to see if I can't locate and catch a trophy. Now, the last episode, I caught some pretty good size northern pike, but there's also catfish here and quite a few other species that we might try to see what we can do about catching. Now, I am going to be, actually, I started at this position and to save time, walked all the way down to here, just past that little river that flows into it and the bridge. I'll show you where I am because this is the actual first peg that you can put in. Now, I was here in the last episode too, but I'm doing this at a little bit different time of day. This is midday. And I'm going to see how well I can catch these guys in the midday period. Let me see here. I'm also going to change my baits around a little bit too. Let me go ahead and let me go ahead and see what we have in our exotic mix here. I sticking with the roach head. Now the dark matter rig, if I'm not mistaken, it'll tell you what type of bottom we're worrying about, but I think out here we're going to need silt. So I may need to change that. See I've got the, that selected. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to leave that as it is, and I'm trying to remember what the other one was. It's not going to tell me on that, I guess. Let me make a yeah, dark matter rig is also silt. Here I've got pop-up tiger nuts. I'm going to see if I can't get me a bream, if possible, and also the catfish sometimes go for that. We'll give that a try. And I think for the lure, I am going to switch. I'm going to see about using a swim bait this time and see we've got buzz bait, spoon, swim baits now apparently they literally like the jerkalistic swim baits and the booty shakers I'm gonna go with the booty shaker this time this thing is eight inches long rattles around a lot apparently it really gets their attention so let me go ahead and get the bottom rods out first and I do need to claim this peg first for anything work. All right, there we go. And let's grab this. Oh, I need to get closer to it. Okay, there we go. You have to get we'll get right on top of it before it'll actually allow you to select the other rods. Now I think this is the roach head, and I'm gonna throw this one over here because. I think I caught a catfish over on this side of things a while back. Let's keep it on the silt, though. See if that doesn't do anything. And for the pop-up tiger nuts, let's try over here. This thing can cast pretty darn far. We might get some carp, too. We don't have to set the bail on that, so that's not an issue. Now let's try the booty shaker. We'll start by f casting over here and we'll fan to the right until we get something. It's a pretty heavy lure, should cast pretty far. Now I'm going to take the speed down to about a 2. Now, I was fishing off screen for a while using the buzz bait, and I did manage to get some good sized pike, but I want to try the swim baits for a little while and see if I can't get something bigger. Oh, 
There we go. Number two. Let's see what we got here, guys. Let's see what we got. Whatever it is, it is running off with it, so it's decent sized. So we can put the tension oh up a look quite a bit actually. Well, we don't want it to get around that bend because it could snap the line if it does that. That happened to me off screen the last time. One of them went behind the little bend and snapped it right off. 80 pound test too. Let's bump it up a little bit more. Not too much. Oh, he's still taking it out, guys. He is still taking it out. So he is not a little guy. I prefer he doesn't go back behind that island. Let's see if I can't pull him this way a little bit. There we go. Come on. He's still taking it out. No, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, they can... They go around that rock and they can snap it off. No problem. Yeah, I'd like to get him at least... 50 yards away so that you know, he's taking off with it again. Alright, we're gonna see if we can't bring him this way a little bit. Come on. Get away from the shore. Pain in the butt. Alright, a little bit closer if you can. Can't really tell what he is yet. I've been getting a lot of northern pikes, so I'm kind of thinking that might be what he is, but we'll know soon enough once I get him. Yep, he is a northern pike. Decent sized. I don't think he's big enough to be a trophy, though. Which is too bad. It's been kind of hard to get the catfish lately. It seems like the pike have been going for the same baits more often than the catfish have been. This guy is not going to come easily. Northern pike usually don't, though. Let's see. Come on, big guy. There's something right there, too. All right, come on. Well, you are being a pain in the butt, aren't you? He does not want to come easily. There we go. We got him. Now, well, he's decent size, though. Like I said... Very nice size, 37 pounder. Got him with the roach head. Not a personal best or anything, but I think I might try throwing it way out there. Whoops, that's not exactly what I wanted to do. That means it's going to go any darn where. It could go straight up for all I know. Holy crap. Is it ever going to stop going? Holy crap. That is like the strangest cast I've ever done. <laughs> Talk about wild. Well, actually it's not a bad <laughs> it's not a horrible place, honestly. Let's go ahead and put it right there. That's about where I wanted it anyway. I think I might recast number three too. Or at least reel it in a little bit. 
Yeah, let's put it right about there. Let's see a lot more activity right there. Get out our booty shaker. If that doesn't work, we're going to try the jerkalistic. That one's always a good one. Especially when we got all this activity. I can't cast that way? Okay, there we go. Definitely a lot of activity over here. That's one thing I noticed here earlier. What is with these poor strikes? Good lord. Okay. Can't tell how big he is, but it is yet another northern pike. Yeah, they want to go into that little that little stream all the time, it seems like. gonna give me a much bigger fight than the other one did. We're trying to go back on the stream. Get over here. Pain in the butt? Come on. <laughs> Change his mind. Yeah, I keep thinking when he comes towards me that I'm going to be able to net him, but he just keeps switching directions. Come on. Come on. There you go. How big is this fella? Still decent sized. I think 35 pound the other one was. Yeah, this is just a little shy of that. Like I said, there's a lot of activity right out there. Let's see what... He just keeps jumping. Let's see what this might be here, guys. Maybe he's interested in this. Yeah, he may not be. Never know. No? Yeah, I think I might change that with the jerkalistic. Yeah, this one is a really good lure to use. I've caught some big fish off of this. Really good for trolling, especially. There we go. Perfect strike right off the dock there. And of course number two goes off. I was going to say, if this is a little fella, I'm going to go with number two because, yeah, he's little. Because I got him hooked. 
I'd rather see what number two is, because that's going to usually be bigger. My, do I have three of them going? It's just this one. No, don't go that way. Don't go that way. Don't go that way. I said no. Uh, he's changed directions, but he's still taking it out. This guy's big. I think it was smart for me to grab this one, but he is really big. Yeah, we lost number one. Oh, he's gonna go behind the island. I hate when they do that. You pain in the butt. This is bad. This is not good. You need to get him to come this way. See, now he's going to try to snap the line. I'm going to have to play him. Oh. Damn! See, that's what he did. I knew that was bad. <laughs> Shoot. So I ended up losing them both. Well, that sucked. Okay, no, that didn't... Well, at least we know we got something out there. It just aggravates me that I lost it like that. That's always a possibility, especially when you get one that's really big like that. Okay, let's try a little closer to the sound. I'm going to try this a little bit faster. Alright, I think it's number three because I'm not seeing the other ones do anything. Now this may be a different fish altogether. God bless it. And number two is going off. Oh, this is a big old carp. I got it. When it rains and pours. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a pike over there because of the way it's swimming. It's not a catfish. I want to get something a little different this time. I think this is a mirror carp. That's what it looks like from what I can see. Yeah, we're probably going to lose the other one, guys. I'm sorry. Can only do one at a time. Yeah, the carp love those pop-up tiger nuts. There we go, we got him. Decent size one, I think. Oh yeah, that's a ghost carp, isn't it? Is that a ghost carp? Yeah, I'll be darned. Any cool? Definitely a cool one. I cannot believe it. We actually were able to still get this one. Not bad. That rarely happens. Usually they get away. Now, he's not a monster by any means, and he's swam around so much that he's probably tired himself out, so this shouldn't be too much of a fight. He's definitely giving him giving it his all. I could say that easily. Yeah. He is giving it his all. Come on. 
give it up. Okay, well, there he goes. He's not very big, but my god. It's like the little ones fight harder than the big ones do. He's only 17 pounds. Alright, we are getting a lot of activity right off of the bat. Good lord, what is going on here? Yeah, I might just throw one of those right there just to... See, you don't have to cast very hard. He's right there. So let's see if... See what he is. Like I said, I would love to get a catfish, but... And there it goes. So it looks like he did go for it. No! I'll be darned. It is another northern pike. They have just been... kind of relentless. Yeah, he's going he's not even close to done yet. <laughs> I would have loved to have known what that was that snapped off that line. Whatever it was, it was good size. Come on, big guy. Just keeps trying to head down that stream. I thought I had him. Nah. Nope. There we go. We got him. Another decent one. We've been getting him pretty close to this size for the most part. Almost 30 pounders. Roach head. Trying to. I'm going to throw it way out there that's sound though. Hopefully, I'll hit a silt. Yep. Keep hoping. Catfish. Been pretty active right there, so it should be. Well, not a whole lot off the jerkalistic. We got some other things that we can try. got the spoons. The shattered glass spoon has always been a good one. Now 
if we're going to keep it in the middle of the water table, we're going to have to keep it at a per pretty decent clip. The spoon's pretty heavy. It's eight ounces. So, half a pound, that's a good size lure. Okay. Which one, number two? So that's way out deep. Big fish. It's definitely a big fish. Need to get him in closer though. That's the only thing. Let's try to get him in as close as we can. Do not let him go over that way. Keep this way, dude. Keep this way. No. No. Don't do it. I said don't do it. get him in closer guys because if he goes too far like I said we'll have the same problem we had that one time all right this is a good safe area oh he's not very big shoot I thought I had a good size fish he's just a feisty one He's not big at all, man. Yeah. Oh well. He was fun to get. Not the smallest one so far today, but... That's good enough. Good enough. Let's see here. Okay, which one's that? Three? Okay, well, this will be probably not Northern Pike. Pick the guys another carp. Or a bream. Bream would be good too. Yep, he is definitely a mirror carp. I did see the scales on him this time. Yeah, I thought that ghost one was, too. That was a bit of a surprise. He was seriously pale. Yeah, at this point, I'd be happy with any trophy. Carp. Catfish. Bream. Any of them. I don't think I've gotten one trophy out of here so far. Good trying. And I've got some pretty good sized fish. Just not in the trophy category. Oh, he is. He's giving me a good fight. Put a little more tension on him because he's... Oh, shoot. <laughs> That's the lure. I was going to say. Usually they don't... If they go out, go for it when they're floating, they usually don't latch on. Wow, that's a good size one. Yeah, he's nice. He's really nice. 38 pounder. That's nothing to sneeze at. Should 
which I think he's the biggest so far, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. Can't remember how big that one uh, pike was. Yeah, I'm gonna keeping it close this time. Let's see what the heck. Something bigger, closer in. Yeah, this one's usually a good lure. I'm not kind of surprised. All right, looks like we got number two again. Oh shoot! Now we got another one. Oh, that was the lure. Thank on it. Of course it was. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Pain in the butt. Get over it. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. He did it. Got to get him to come this way, though. He needs to get a lot closer than that. Because he can pull that little trick that he, they did, that other one did, so... Come on, darn ya! No! Don't! Don't, you little pain in the... Okay, he's in front of it. He's not behind it. Okay. That's good. That's good. I thought he... he I really thought he would have gone behind it that time. And we got one on number three. Of course we do. Why not? Don't go... Uh, he's going to go behind the other one. Okay, okay, he's all right. Yeah, I like to get him in here a lot closer than that. Not a catfish, too fast. Good sized pike. Real nice sized pike. Man, that's a that's a pretty pike. That's a pretty pike. He might be the biggest one so far, guys. Oh, yeah. He's nice. Yeah, he's not done yet. Not with his size. Yeah, if he had gone behind that rock, it would have been over. There's no way I'd have gotten him around that rock. Definitely got to play him. He's going to dive. Come on, big fella. There we go. We got him. We got him. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. He's not a trophy, 40 pounder though. Like I said, I knew he was decent size. Another decent size one. Now if I can just get three before it gets off. We got it. We got it. He's gonna be... He didn't go behind the rock, that is. He isn't. He almost did. Okay, this is a big fish. Yeah, this is a big fish. He's still taking it out. With all the time he'd been on the line, I would have thought he'd been tired by now.
Oh, yes. Here it comes. Can't tell if he's a mirror or a common. I think he's a common, though. Come on. We got him. We got him. No, he's definitely a mirror carp, that's for sure. Beautiful specimen. 32 pounds. Not as big as the other one, but still a very decent specimen. Pretty fish. Well... I tell you what, guys, I think we're darn near out of time. I might try throwing this out one more time. See if we can't get one more. But I'm just going to keep this really close. I mean really close. I've been seeing all kinds of activity here. Right next to my little base here, I guess, operations. Also going to keep this one kind of close this time. Yeah, I've gotten bites off these, but it's always after I'm going after something else. It's, they just pick it up off the bottom for some reason. But when I'm actually reeling it in, they don't touch it. <laughs> there we go. I got something's attention that time. I hope it's not a little guy, though. Getting a little tired of the little guys. Well, he didn't look too small. And he's not real big, either. About average. I'd say about 25 pounds, maybe. I don't know. He's, he may be bigger than that. Now that I got that good side view of him. He's not as big as that last one, but... Oh, I think we got one on one of our other lines there. Thank on it. Yep, number two, of course. Come on, let's get this guy in so I can try to get number two. Come on. <laughs> Check it out. Somebody came up to say hi. <laughs> oh, man, come on. I'd rather not lose that other one. problem is he's got that one's gone behind the, the island so he could snap it off come on quit goofing around
Oh, wow. Now that's a decent sized car. Good lord, come on. We got this one. How big is he? He's definitely good size. 37 pounds. Wow, I actually was able to get it. That's surprising. He's still taking it out, guys. Oh my goodness, this is going to be tough. And he's going to go behind the island. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. Don't... We need to take the tension down, because if we don't, he will snap it off. Okay, okay, okay. What? Okay, how did I do that? <laughs> Guys, you want to tell me how I happened? How did I happen? I caught the fish, and he's little bitty. <laughs> how did that happen? I have no idea. I caught a fish that should have been really big and ended up being really small. From way over there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happened. That was weird. That was weird. Yeah, I think that was a glitch. It had to be. Well, anyway, guys, I don't know what's going on, but that was a lot of fun. No trophies still, darn gone it, but anyway, we did catch some decent sized fish. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and we will be back with more episodes of Fishing Sim World Pro Tour. Might try another different location. Walt Sea Lake is another one where the catfish can be found, and I've just been really been wanting to get myself a decent-sized Wells catfish. But anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.